Welcome, friends. We are in chapter five. This is episode 11 in Discovery. That's lesson 89. And in Elevate, that is lesson 82. We're finishing up with special vowel sounds today. So let's start by reviewing the special vowel sounds that Heather has been working on with you in previous lessons. So to do that, I'm going to use the Elevate software to share the review. Okay, you just watch and listen. Let's quickly review the special vowel sounds A-U and A-W, O-U and O-W, and O-I and O-Y. This is the first set of special vowel sounds, A-U and A-W. Both spellings make the same sound, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You'll hear A-U and A-W pronounced as either ah, uh, or O, oh, depending on where the speaker is from. I'll pronounce it as AH uh, in this software. To mark the special vowel sound, we place an X underneath and between the two letters, since they are both vowels. Then we join the letters together with an arc. Let's look at the second set of special vowel sounds. To form this set of special vowel sounds, simply change the A in A-U and A-W to O. O-U and O-W both make the sound ow, ow. We mark this special vowel sound in the same way. We place an X underneath and between the two letters, and then we join the letters together with an arc. Let's prove some words that have the special vowel sound, ow. Some words with special vowel sounds end in silent E. For example, the word house has a silent E at the end. Watch as the word house is marked. We mark the silent E at the end of the word but it does not change the sound of the special vowel sound. O-U still makes the ow sound. Silent E will never affect special vowel sounds because of the strength of the two vowels standing together. O-W is a special special vowel sound because it has two sounds. It usually makes the sound ow, but in some words, it will also make the sound of long O. To prove words in which O-W makes the O sound, place a long vowel mark above the O. This is the third set of special vowel sounds. O-I and O-Y both make the sound oi, oi. If the oi sound comes at the beginning or middle of a word, as in oil or boil, we use the O-I spelling. If the oi sound comes at the end of a word or syllable, as in boy, the oy spelling is used. Okay, so that was a great review of our special vowel sounds. Okay, so let's get ready for instruction. So today, we are going to talk about the last two vowel sounds. In the first three that we worked on that we just reviewed, you notice that they're in the same circle because the sound is the same. Are you wondering why these last two are in different circles? They're spelled exactly the same, but they sound different. So they're in two different circles. The first sound of the special vowel sounds is the sound oo. When you have two O's together, sometimes the sound they make is oo, like in the word zoo. You will mark it the same way you mark the other special vowel sounds with an X between the vowels, which are joined by an arc. Say this special sound with me. Ooh. Ooh. Let's prove a word with that special vowel sound, ooh. Ready? 
Instead of writing an X under each vowel, what will we do, Heather? You're going to put an X between the two O's and then you're gonna arc that together. That's right. So the word, the sound is for the OO is Ooh, the word would read room. Room. As, can you make a sentence with room? Um, you need to clean your room before you have a friend over. That's right. Now I want us to look at one thing. Why, why let me get my pointer. Why is this M right here not a guardian? Um, it's not a guardian because special vowel sounds are neither long nor short. So if it was a guardian, that, that vowel sound would have to be short, and we know it's not. That's right. Okay, let's look at another word. For this word, we're going to prove it the same way, moving left to right. The first thing we're going to do is we see the two O's together, two vowel O's, so we're going to mark an X between them and we're going to arc them. The sound will be oo, like in the word zoo. The word is pool. I want to go swim in the pool this afternoon. Okay, let's try one more. Heather, I'm gonna let you work this one with me, moving left to right. Okay, moving left to right, I would put an X between the two O's and then arc it together. And now my word is proven because it's not short or long, it says ooh. That's right, good job. The word is? Boot. Boot, can you make a sentence with the word boot? Um, the cowboy lost his boot while he was lassoing the cow. <laughs> good sentence, Heather. Okay, let's look at the other sound that the special vowel sounds made when you put OO together. This one is marked exactly the same way as in ooh, like zoo, except this one has a different sound. This sound is uh, like in the word look. Okay, so let's look at a word where the, the uh oh says uh. So if we're gonna mark this word, we would mark between the two vowels, arc it, the sound is uh, so this word would say Book. Book. I'm going to read a book this afternoon. Okay, let's say, what's the vowel sound you hear in this word? Uh. Uh. And we know that the K is not a guardian because like Heather said before, it doesn't make a short vowel sound. It has an, its own vowel sound, so this cannot be a guardian. Okay, let's look at another word. Heather, I'm going to let you prove this word for me. Okay, um, you're gonna put an X between the two O's and then arc it underneath. And it's proven. Sound, yeah, so the sound is uh, like in the word look. So this word would read foot. Foot. I hurt my foot when I went running yesterday. Let's do one more. Okay, I'm gonna mark between my vowels. I'm gonna arc it. The sound is uh, like in the word look, so this word is wood. We built a deck out of wood, okay? So when you see these double O's in a word, there's no way to know whether it, the sound is ooh, like in zoo, or uh, like in look. So you're really just gonna have to try it and listen to what the way it sounds, and it should make sense. If it doesn't make sense, you may need to ask someone for help with that. But you should be able to just know it doesn't make sense. Because if I said the word, um, an example, I am reading a book, would that make sense? No. no. So I would know that would be book, okay? So with these words, we can add suffixes just like the other special vowel sounds that we added suffixes to. And simply when you add the suffix, all you're gonna do is just add it. So if we're gonna look at the word, let's prove the base word. So we have the X between the O's, we arc it, and the word is cook. I'm going to cook dinner tonight. If I want to add a suffix to this, I simply add the suffix. So if I'm gonna add ing to it, 
What do I need to do next, Heather? Underline that suffix. Underline that suffix. And we know when ing is added, this means it's happening now. Mom is cooking dinner. Okay, let's look at another word. Okay, this word I'm gonna mark between my two vowels in arcit. This word says cool. Cool, it is cool outside in the morning. If I wanna add a suffix to this word and make it est, the word would be coolest. And we simply underline it. When you have EST, you're comparing to more than three. So it was the coolest day of the week. You could also add ING, and that word would say, what, Heather? Cooling. Cooling. Could you give me a sentence with cooling? Um, the food is cooling in the cooler. Okay, and then you could also add the sentence ED, which we know happens in the past. So with this ED, we simply add the ending, underline it, and when the cookies cooled off, we were able to eat them. So just remember, just like with the other special vowel sounds, all you do when you're adding a suffix is just simply add the suffix and then underline it. Let's look at one more thing. So we do have special vowel sounds in multisyllabic words. So with multisyllabic words, we're going to prove them just like we did before and see what happens with this word. So moving left to right, Heather, I'm going to let you walk me through this one. Okay. What would be the first one? I see the vowel Y, put an X underneath that. Mm -hmm. Digraph PH. Then I see special vowel sounds, O, O, so put, oh, yep, I need an F on top to show that says the F sound. Then I see O, O, put an arc underneath. Um, so I yes. I'm sorry, so now I was just gonna say, so now we just simply apply the decoding skills. So we go back to that first vowel, which we know is right here, the Y, and what happens? So following the first vowel or between those two, vowels, I have one consonant sound, so it's going to be decoding skill one, one must run. One must run, just like you said, one must run. And so let's look at the first syllable. We have that Y and nothing following it, so we know it's gonna take on the sound of I and it's long, okay? So remember if Y is the only working vowel in that syllable, it takes on the sound of I. This follows phonetic skill three. So this syllable says tie, what does this syllable say, Heather? This syllable says "foon." Can you put those two together and read the word? Typhoon. Typhoon. Typhoon is a very powerful storm with winds up to 200 miles per hour. Okay, let's try another word. So moving left to right, I'm going to mark my vowel. I come to my special vowel sounds, so I'm gonna mark between them and arc them. Now I know that I have a two syllable word because I have two working vowels, so I'm gonna go back to the first one and look between them, and here I see two units, so those two will split, so I'm gonna split it between the M and the B. The first syllable has a short vowel because this follows phonetic skill one with one guardian, and the second one says, Ooh, the word is bamboo, bamboo. Let me pop back to that. Do you know what bamboo is, Heather? I think I do. So what, bears, swallow bears? Yeah, they love to eat it because it's hollow on the inside. It grows really, really tall. Bamboo, sometimes they make furniture out of bamboo and floors. Like you said, pandas eat it. So bamboo is our word. So are you ready to use these and practice them in dictation? I'm ready. All right, so let's get ready for dictation. You'll need your marker. You'll need something to write on. And remember, I'm gonna give you the words twice and you're gonna follow along with Heather, okay? So if you're ready, I'm ready. So let's do the first word. The first word is Broom, broom. Broom, broom. I used a broom to sweep the floor. Broom. Okay. 
Fantastic. So moving left to right, she saw she had a blend and then she had her special vowel sounds, O-O. Good job. Let's do another word. The next word is stool, stool. Stool, stool. Stool is like a chair that's high up. I used a stool to sit at the bar to eat. Again, she had a blend and then her special vowel sounds O O. Good job. Next word. The next word is hood, hood. Hood, hood. I need to put the hood up on my jacket when it's cold outside. Hood. Fantastic. Let's do another word. The next word is shook, shook. Shook, shook. The tree shook when the storm came, shook. Great job, Heather. Okay, let's do a word where we're gonna first prove the base word and then we're gonna add a suffix to it, okay? So the next word's going to be Ready? Ready. Cook. 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 I'm going to cook dinner tonight. Cook. Great job. And over to the right, I want you to add the suffix ing to that word and make the word cooking. 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 She is cooking brownies. All you do is simply underline that suffix. All right, Heather, let's do another word. You may need to make another column. Okay, this word is groom, groom. Groom, groom. I need to groom my dog. Need to go in and get a bath and a haircut, get their nails done, come out all fluffy. Okay, let's see. Groom. Fantastic. This could also mean like with a bride, the groom. Okay, let's add a let's add an ER to this word and make the word groomer, groomer. Groomer, groomer. You can take the dog to the groomer to have him groomed. A person who grooms dog is a groomer. Fantastic, all you do is underline that suffix. Okay, now we're gonna do a couple with um, multisyllabic words. So think about those decoding skills when we do this. The first word is, ready? Booklet, booklet. Booklet, booklet. My teacher passed out a booklet for us to work on. All right, Heather, would you explain to us how you proved this word booklet? Um, so when I came under my word, left to right, I had that O-O, I marked an X between and arced it together, special vowel sound, then another vowel. So two vowels means two syllables. Go back to your first vowel and I see that I have two consonants between. So that is a two will split. Divide there, decoding skill two. The first syllable is proven because you don't go on top, they're neither short nor long. The second syllable is short, booklet, booklet. Fantastic job, great explanation. Let's do one more for dictation. The last one is, ready? Cartoon, cartoon. Cartoon, cartoon. The children will watch a cartoon on TV this afternoon, cartoon. Let me see if you notice something in that first syllable on this word, Heather. Let's see. 
that the right? Yep. Okay. What did you notice in that first syllable? Okay, so you have, you have that murmur diphthong and you mark directly under the A and then arc that underneath when it's followed by an R. And then I had another, I had special vowel sound marked between the two vowels and arc that. And when I go back to my first vowel and count my consonants, there were two, there were, there was one, 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 sorry. Because the R doesn't count as part of this unit. This is a one must run. So the first syllable is proven, it says car. And the second syllable is proven, it says tune. Cartoon, cartoon. Great job. So let's get ready to play eraser games. So put your marker away and get something to erase with. I'm gonna ask you to point to the word that I give you the clue for. You'll read it two times and then you will erase it, okay? So let's get ready for eraser game. Ready? I want you to point to the word that begins with a digraph. Point to the word that begins with a digraph. Read it to me two times. Shook, shook. Erase it. Point to the word that has a murmur diphthong in it. Read it twice. Cartoon, cartoon. Erase it. Point to the word that ends with the sound Okay. Read it to me twice. Cook, cook. Cook, cook, good. And go ahead and erase cooking too. Okay, I want you to look for two words in there that rhyme. Two words that you have left that rhyme. Okay, can you read me those two words that rhyme? Broom, groom. Broom and groom rhyme. So go ahead and erase both of those words. Now I want you to point to the word that has the uh sound. Actually, you have two left that have the uh sound, don't you? Okay, point to the word that um, follows decoding skill two. How about that? Okay. The word is? Booklet, booklet. Fantastic. Go ahead and erase that. Now you have one word left, right? No. <laughs> you want to see my board? Yeah, let me see your board. Now, I maybe should should I have erased groomer with broom and groom? Yes, yes. yes. That one. Okay, erase the word that have. Now you've got two left, so I want you to point to the word that has an s blend. Point to the word that has an s blend. This Read one. Twice. Stool, stool. Right. Erase that. Now you have one word left. So that one word that you have left. Read it to me twice. Hood. Hood. Could you take that H and erase it? And let's make a new word. So I want you to think of one letter and make a new word. And it may have the sound OO or it could have the sound UH. Go ahead and create a new word. Okay, let's see what Heather created. Okay, the word you have is WOULD. WOULD. So it has the sound uh. I was thinking the word mood would have the sound oo. So you see, you can have those special vowel sounds right there together too, but they're depending on what letter it is, it may make a different sound. Okay, so you're finished with eraser game. Let's get ready to transfer. Well, not letting me transfer, hold on. Second try, okay. Now we can transfer, sorry about that. All right, Heather, you ready? Okay, so this transfer, we're gonna see words that have the OO 
like in the word zoo, and also the OO vowel sound as in the word look. So we're gonna go through, I'm gonna get my pointer and I'm gonna point to them and I want you to read with Heather. So let's start right here, Heather. Oot. School. Cooking. Wooden. So you're hearing both of those sounds in there. The ooh like in zoo and the ooh like in look. Okay, ready? Zoom. We know about Zoom, don't we? <laughs> We've been in a lot of Zoom. To getting close to something. So right now a lot of you are using Zoom to get into meetings and go into classrooms. Okay, ready? Shook. Schooled. Baboon. Look. Proof. Smoother. Mushroom. Book. Good. Looking. Cartoon. Moo. Good. Coolest booklet. Right, let's, great job with that. Let's just read a couple of the sentences down here at the bottom. Let's look at this sentence right here. I want you to read with Heather. Ready? The water in the brook looks cool and smooth. Let's read it a little more quickly with our eyes. The water in the brook looks cool and smooth. What is in the brook? The water. What does the water look like? Cool and smooth. Good job. All right, let's read this sentence right here. His loose tooth fell out while he was at school. One more time, a little more quickly with your eyes. His loose tooth fell out while he was at school. I bet that's happened to some of some of the kids watching this. Their tooth falls out at school. What do you think he would do next if his tooth fell out at school? What do you think he's going to do, Heather? I think he would put it in some kind of baggie. Or I used to have these little tooth necklaces that I would give to my students for them to put their loose tooth in. So I did take the little white tooth with the little bright green. Yes. yes. Just to yes. make sure that tooth makes it home. Yes. I love that. Okay, so that was always an exciting day when someone's tooth fell out at school, wasn't it? All right, great job today. We're learning the last two special vowel sounds, OO. What I want you to do is to continue practicing. So these practice pages will be where you went to log in. You'll be able to find them there. This is um, practice page 192 and 194. One thing I want to want you to notice is if you'll look right here. The special vowel sound, ooh, ooh, like in the word zoo, you can draw bars like at a zoo on that OO, and that will help you. So if you look closely, you can see those bars there. Yeah, if I'm, it's like. I was going to do it on my board. It's not okay. You can do it kind of like. Yes. Yes. And then if you have the two for the, like the word look, you can kind of make those look like eyes inside of each other to remember the words on this page have the special sound like look, like your eyes. So Heather, you wanna show us what that would look like? Okay, good job. All right, so if you wanna practice these pages, this would be extra support for you, that's fantastic. If you need to reach out and get support getting logged in, please do that. We want you to log into those lessons and continue working on your software as well as these lessons and direct instruction. So if you need any help, feel free to reach out to us. We would be glad to help you and we appreciate you joining us today and we'll see you soon on the next episode. Bye. Bye.